This is the Leisure Travel Vans Wonder Rear Twin Bed. They're letting us borrow it for a couple weeks and we're about to give it back. So we thought we would give you a walkthrough of this unit, tell you what we think about it and show you some of the cool features. Now, the Wonder is built on the Transit 350 cutaway chassis and it has the Power Stroke diesel with a six speed on it. We've been driving this around and so far it drives excellent and we've been averaging about 14 to 16 miles per gallon with the diesel. A distinguishing feature of this model of the Wonder is this rear garage. It's big enough for bicycles, all the stuff you wanna bring. There is a 500 pound weight limit and it has a slide inside. Let me show you. We've just been using this to store some chairs and electrical cords, but it is set up for a bicycle. So you could pull this all the way out, mount the bike to this slide, push it back in. And again, there's a 500 pound weight limit, so you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. This garage is also a pass through and it's accessible through the other side. One other feature with leisure travel vans is they provide a table that attaches to the outside of the vehicle. Here it is. That was actually the first time I've ever done it and it was pretty easy. Now this is Leisure Travel Van's demo unit and there have been a few other RVers out there who have taken this. So if you guys are missing a very comfortable chair, let us know because I think you left it in a wonder. We've been doing a lot of street camping with the Wonder. Now we haven't had to use it yet, but there is an awning for those sunnier days. And if you wanna put a TV or lights out, something out here, there are two outlets here where you can plug things in. Before we even go inside, I have to show you Kate's favorite feature because I have such big feet. There is a shoe bin or bay little area under here where my giant boots fit and that makes her very happy. There's also a little shoe area over here on the right, which also fits my shoes. So they are out of Kate's way and I can't tell you how happy that makes her. First thing when you step inside is this light switch. I've really been enjoying it because there are all different lighting moods you can set, all the lights are dimmable. There is a master on and off switch which is quite nice. And if you have the light set to a certain mood, when you do the master back on, it'll go back to where you had it set previously, which is cool. The downside and the thing I don't like about this panel is at night when it's really dark, there's no backlight. So you can't see which buttons there are and there's no feeling. So you kind of have to start just randomly jabbing at it to get something to go on. Once it's on, it works great. There are privacy shades on all of the windows and this one has a magnet at the bottom where you can attach it. Why don't I start in the cab and work my way back to show you how we've been using the Wonder over the last couple weeks. Kate and I have both enjoyed driving the Transit. Very comfortable, great power with the diesel engine and we really like the setup up here. A couple of the features that we've found really cool in here is first, water bottle holders. We have big water bottles. In the past, we've had to come up with creative solutions to, on where to put these while we're driving. Here, we each have our own spot. The center console has two powered USB ports, a 12 volt outlet, and a large cup holder for my oversized coffee cup, which I appreciate. There is a backup camera in here and that actually gets displayed on the rear view mirror. When you're backing up, it'll come on or there is an auxiliary switch that you can turn on while you're driving to have the camera on so you can see if you have a trailer or bike on the back, you can monitor that while you're going down the road. Rounding out the cab area, the passenger seat does flip around to become part of the living room. And there are curtains on either side that you can pull across for privacy with magnets to clip them together in the middle. In the living room area, there are two opposing chairs, and this is a feature Kate and I have really started to enjoy. In our Class B van, there wasn't nearly as much room side to side, 
and we've really enjoyed having that extra space, being able to sit across from each other, have a drink, dinner, work, and this adjustable lagoon table makes things very easy because we can move it around to suit our needs. And if we want more space, it opens up. The other nice thing is if we wanna be in the bedroom and have drinks or whatever it is, this table comes out and we can move it into the bedroom to use it there. For us, we would use this area quite a bit to work. And the nice thing with what they've done here is there are outlets on either side, plus dual USB plugs, which are always hot. We can plug our phones, camera gear, other equipment that requires USB in anytime we want, and the inverter does not have to be on. For those times you're boondocking, there is a 1000 watt Xantrex pure sign inverter. 400 watts of flexible solar on the roof that are feeding two 6 volt deep cycle batteries with a battery monitor right up here showing you the state of charge. Now, if you want to run something a little bit more electrical intense, like my electric water kettle, which is 1500 watts, then I would fire up the LP generator that's on board, which will allow us to run everything in here, including the AC while we're off grid. Now, if we're at a campground and we plug in, everything automatically switches over to AC and it uses that. This is the multiplex system. It controls almost everything within the Wonder. It's actually a great feature. You can use this to turn on and off any light in the coach that you want. You can see the state of charge of your house and your chassis battery, the temperature. You can also set the temperature for the AC up here. Also, you can start your generator. You can also use this to control when your generator comes on and off. You can set this to come on for the AC at a certain temperature or a certain time. Let's say you're going to get back at night and you want the AC running or the heat running and everything powered up. You can set that all through this multiplex system. You can also monitor the tank capacities. There is a 30 gallon fresh water tank, 28 gallon gray tank, 28 gallon black tank, and a 13.2 gallon propane tank. Above me is a feature Kate and I think should be in every RV, a skylight. We love these things. They're great to get the hot air up and out or just have for some extra light. There is a bug screen that comes across and then a nightshade. Behind me is where I keep my kettle. Now behind that are two inverted plugs, one of which is used for the DVD player slash switcher. So this works for the TV in the back and the front. The TV up front has a sound bar above it. And then over here, more storage. In the kitchen, there is a two burner gas stove, stainless steel sink, an inverted plug, three cabinets with a lot of storage and finally a window with an awning style opening and one very small but very important feature about these windows are these little clips on either side for the shade these are helpful if it's really windy outside and you have the window open it keeps these from flapping around also if you're off level it helps keep the shade up against the window so you have more privacy for those of you who love to cook and always use the kitchen in your RV, there is extra counter space when you need it. There is a three-way Dometic refrigerator. This runs on propane, DC, or AC. Microwave convection oven. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Now let's move back. I'll show you the bathroom and the shower. So I can't leave this area just yet. Kate just informed me I missed two very important features. One being the trash can. They've tucked it away in this little spot under the sink. And most importantly, the pantry. Plenty of room for all of our spices, food, and things like that. And now with that out of the way, I can move back to the bathroom in the shower. So the first time I was using this bathroom, I was looking up and I said, oh, a medicine cabinet. I went to open it and there's actually a window back here, which is kind of cool. I like the fact that you can let in more light. 
but I do like that this closes off and shuts that down. There is a small stainless steel sink, and no, your eyes are not deceiving you, there are two toilets in here. This one is actually ours that we pulled out of our camper van because we like cassette style toilets, and this is a Thetford porta potty. I'm sitting on the macerator toilet that comes with this unit, and it has a 28 gallon black water tank. The rest of this bathroom is pretty much standard. There are lighting controls along with water pump, macerator controls, outlet, cabinet above me, and a little storage rack here on the side. On the passenger side, there is the shower. This door also doubles as the door to the bedroom, so you can close off the bedroom to have more privacy. Here's the shower. Now, since we typically take our showers at gyms, we've actually been using this space as extra storage. Uh, it is a nice size shower. There's a curtain that comes across and a Truma AquaGo for hot water. This is a on-demand hot water system and we have yet to try it because we haven't taken a shower in here, but it is available. And above me and in the bathroom are two fantastic vents. As its name implies, this has two twin beds in the rear. This is the rear twin bed model. Now, one cool feature is I'm actually sitting on it, but there is a piece that folds out into the middle and you can bring both beds together so you can have a larger bed if you don't want the two twins. Now, under each bed is quite a bit of storage. There is actually a hanging closet that goes pretty far down, shelves and storage areas. There is storage on both sides of the bed a little shelf up here, lighting underneath, inverted AC plugs, and two USB plugs on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine or something like that, you can run it during the night. There is an AC unit here. My only quip about the bedroom area is since the floor does come up, it's a little too short for me to stand up in. So I have to kind of scrunch down until I walk down the steps into the hallway or the living room. Right here is where you mount the lagoon table from up front if you want to sit back here during the day. Also, there is a light switch here to control all the lights in the bedroom and then the master on and off so when you come to bed you can turn off all the lights in the RV. Since Kate and I have only been using this for a couple weeks, we haven't really utilized the storage under the beds and what we've been doing is folding this out and putting the two beds together. On the passenger side is a TV with a little cubby beneath for remotes and things like that. And another small cubby up here for little odds and ends. So now the part you've all been waiting for. How much does this thing cost? Base model is right around 120,000. This with the options is just under 130,000. Now we are shopping for a new RV. So let me give you our final thoughts after spending a couple weeks in the Wonder rear twin bed. We really like the Ford chassis. It has been great to drive, very comfortable, and we get surprisingly good MPG with something this size. Now, speaking of size, this is just under 25 feet. Now, a rule we have for our next camper is that it has to fit in a standard parking spot. This fits fine side to side, but it's too long. We find that the back either hangs over into another spot or the front hangs out into the aisle. That said, with the extra length comes a lot of extra room inside. We're really enjoying the wide body. We like the two opposing chairs and the extra room it gives us inside. So we may be willing to break our rule for something like this. The Wonder does come in in different floor plans and they have some other models as well. So it might be something we seriously consider. Now, before I close this out, I wanna say a big thank you to our WTR family over on Patreon. They are the ones who help make these videos possible. That said, I want to thank all of you for watching this video and Roberto for suggesting we do a walkthrough of the wonder. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and head over to our website, wertherussos.com to find out where you can get one of these cool t-shirts and some other cool content. And also join us over on Patreon and become part of the WTR family. We will see you next time, guys. Bye.